This is Jen Judkins from Teaching Forward. This tutorial video covers end-of-year procedures for Google Classroom. In this video, we'll take a look at the archive feature that can be triggered by teachers. We'll explain to you what happens when you archive classes and then how to locate classes that you have archived. We'll also take a look at the student options for end-of-year. They have the option to unenroll from your class, but if you trigger the archiving feature, we'll show you how that looks on the student side. Let's get started. To archive a class, you need to locate the icon for the class you want to archive. Click the three dots on the top right corner of the icon and choose Archive. A message will appear letting you know what the archiving feature does. Essentially, archiving will allow you to view the class information, but you can no longer add materials to the class. That includes you as well as your students. So we're going to archive the class and now I'm going to show you how you find that class. So now that it's been archived from the home menu, click the three lines to the far left side and scroll to the bottom of the list of classes. You'll see an option for archived classes here. When you do so, you'll see the classes listed and you can click on those three dots again and restore the class if you had accidentally archived the class. By archiving the class, you can still click inside the class and see the materials and information you used. If I want to restore the class again, I can do so from this menu. Let's take a look at what the student will see if a class is archived. I'm now viewing from the student side. If a class is archived, it will no longer appear on the dashboard where the student's classes are listed. Instead, as with the teacher, it can be accessed for view only purposes through the home screen. If you click the three lines to the left here, again as with the teacher on the bottom underneath the classes that are listed, there's an option for archived classes. I can access the class through here. So this still allows me to access any of the drive content that is associated with the classes. In addition to this option for end of the year, students could instead unenroll from a class. So if as a teacher you made a decision not to archive your class, if students wanted to remove your class from their dashboard to clear the deck for next year, they can do so by clicking the three lines and choosing unenroll. This won't affect your class, but it will remove this student from your roster and it will remove your class icon from the student's home page. The student can add new classes when they enter in the fall, just as they did at the beginning of this school year by entering the class code that the teacher gives out for purpose of joining their class. Thanks for watching. For this and other tutorial videos, including how to set up your Google Classroom classes for next school year, check us out online at teachingforward.net.